What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to create a dreamlike sequence and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos, and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Let's head down in the timeline. You'll notice I have this nice, bright, colorful kind of nighttime shot of downtown. And I want to add that dreamlike sequence. First things first, we need to create another layer because I'm going to add something and I'm going to use blending modes to blend it into this. So I don't want to apply the effect directly to the clip. So I'm going to head down here into the project panel and go down to the new item button. I'm going to click it and I'm going to go to adjustment layers and I'm going to start adjustment layer. Same settings as my sequence works. So I click OK. So now I have an adjustment layer right over here. And if you want to learn more about adjustment layers and the purpose of adjustment layers, if you look in the top right, I'm going to link a clip to a video I've already done on adjustment layers in detail. Anyway, so I'm going to grab this over here, drag and drop. So now we have this adjustment layer above our layer. You'll notice here if we click off it, obviously there's nothing there because the adjustment layer is clear and there's nothing added to it. But that's going to change. So let's head over here to the project panel one more time. I'm going to go down to my effects tab and I'm going to type in blur. And then you'll see the Gaussian blur. You've probably heard it before. It's a very popular blur. Drag and drop on the adjustment layer, not on the clip. Make sure it's on the adjustment layer on top. So now we have the top adjustment layer highlighted. You can see the white border around the clip. Head up here into the source panel. You can go down towards the bottom and you're gonna see Gaussian blur. So that's the effect we just added to it. Just head down to where it says blurriness. And this is where we're gonna add some blur to it. So now we have a nice strong blur. Clearly it's too blurry to see the image, but that's where the blending comes in. So let's head up here to the opacity, which is the opacity for it. And you can obviously lower the opacity if you want a little bit less, or you can do the blend modes and have different effects. The one I like that works really well is the linear dodge add. You'll see it kind of gives that glowy effect. You can also play with the opacity if you want to lessen it after you've added that or you can also play with the blurriness. So if you wanna have it where someone's kind of coming in and out of consciousness or something, another thing you'll notice down here is you'll notice here on the edge, it's kind of vignetting, and that effect is not being applied to the corners. So just below here, the very last line in the Gaussian blur effect, if you click repeat edge pixels. So what's that telling is you want that effect to go to the very, very far end. And you notice once I click that, it'll change it so now the effect is to the edges. You can manipulate the glow in different ways you come down here under the blurriness underneath where we uh, adjusted the, uh, the amount of the blur. You can also change maybe the direction if you want to have a different effect, maybe like a car whipping by quickly and have that kind of blur effect that way um, or have a vertical depending on whatever effect you're looking for. But to have that proper glow effect, you want to have a, a vertical and horizontal. So that's it. That's how you can apply a blur effect to any sequence or scene that you want. And you can also manipulate it by adding more or less or changing the direction. You can customize it any way you see fit. Anyway, I hope that video helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. That being said, have a great day. Later. Later.